Welcome to UNF Now on UNF TV. I'm Rebecca Davidson. We bring you all the campus and Jacksonville news you need now. Students know that school can get pretty overwhelming easily, and it's important to stay healthy when times get tough. This Thursday, the Department of Health Promotions is hosting Snacking Made Simple to teach students about the importance of daily snacking. UNF dietetic interns are running the show and will provide healthy snack tips and demonstrations. There will be free food for everyone, so head to the Student Union, room 3805 at noon, and check it out. Well, Zumba has become one of the most popular workouts of our generation, and most of the gyms around town now offer classes. Pulse Fitness of Jacksonville has classes almost every day, and they're doing everything they can to give their members the best Zumba experience possible. Zumba combines rhythms from across the world, including rumba, merengue, and cha-cha-cha. The upbeat dance steps keep you moving, so you hardly notice you're working out. Pulse classes are held in the nightclub Mojitos to give members plenty of space to let loose. An open dance floor and ultimate lighting system give the classes a party atmosphere that you can't find anywhere else. Well, with more tropical disturbances looming in the Atlantic, let's see what they'll bring to our local weather today at the UNF Now Weather Report. Well, your semester may be jam-packed already, but try to find some extra time because intramurals are starting up again. There's an informational meeting this Thursday at 7 p.m. in the Student Union, so if you're interested in playing flag football or kickball, this is the meeting that you want to make. It doesn't matter if you're on a team already or you're looking to join one. Just come this Thursday and see what it's all about. Are you interested in fashion or cosmetology? Well, Thursday evening, the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is putting on the Pretty Parlor Fashion Event. Professional makeup artists and fashion representatives are invited to come and show young women how to accessorize and put on makeup. The event runs from 6 to 9 p.m. in the Student Union, so mark your calendars and be sure to stop by. Well, now we're joined by Sam Hauser. Thanks for joining us, Sam. Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, I'm not too interested in fashion or cosmetology, but <laughs> I'm going to have to check out that free food. I know, there's a lot going on this Thursday, and don't forget that tonight is the free spaghetti dinner in the Student Union also. So what have you got for us in sports? Well, not a lot of good news. A lot, well, We do have some Jaguar news, Suns and UNF, but some good, some bad, so let's get to it. All right. With the season opener now four days away, the Jaguars made the biggest roster move of the offseason on Tuesday, cutting start, starting quarterback David Garrard. Garrard replaced Byron Leftwich in a similar situation in 2007, and now the Jags will turn to Luke McCown and rookie Blaine Gabbert as the top two quarterbacks. The team felt that his performance in the preseason did not coincide with the roughly $8 million that he was expected to make this year. In four preseason games, Garrard threw for 216 yards, one interception, and a 56.5 passer rating, including going 1-for-8 in the team's final preseason game versus the St. Louis Rams. And after the, Rams, after the loss to the Rams in the final preseason game, Jaguars coach Jack Del Rio said that he did not want to release the quarterback depth chart until 90 minutes before kickoff on September 11th. But with the release of David Garrard, all signs point to Luke McCown to take over for the starting job for the team's season opener versus the Titans. Coach Del Rio hinted that he did not want Gabbard to play this year, but with the release of Garrard, he will likely see more, if any, playing time this season. And after posting their worst record since 2008, one Jacksonville Suns player has another game to play. Outfielder Kevin Madison was named to the Southern League postseason All-Star team. Madison finished the year with a 260 batting average, 8 home runs, 49 RBIs, and 38 stolen bases, second in the league behind Quinton Berry of the Carolina Mudheads, who had 40. After their 1-0 road win versus Longwood, the men's soccer team will stay on the road to play UCF in Orlando tonight at 7 o'clock. The team is 1 and 2 through the team is 1 and 1, excuse me, for through their first two games this year under first-year head coach Derek Marinatos. The team stays on the road for three more games to take on UNC Greensboro, Elon, and FIU before returning home on the 18th to take on FAU. The UNF club hockey team is getting ready to start its second season. The season opener is Friday the 16th at Embry-Riddle, and the home opener is Saturday the 17th also versus Embry-Riddle. Puck drop is at 9.30, and it's free for students. The team plays at Jacksonville Ice and Sportsplex just off of Phillips Highway. For more information, 
on the schedule, visit www.unficehockey.com. You know, I think a lot of Jaguar fans were shocked to hear about Garrard getting cut. Yeah, I know I was. It came to late breaking news around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. It was some shocking news. But. I just can't believe it. Well, hopefully they'll still be able to pull together and have a great year. Well, thank you for tuning in and check in with us anytime you need your news now. Have a great day, Jacksonville. Need me some glasses. <laughs> you can't see. <laughs> Not really. yeah.